Welcome to Rise Up Namibia. So in this video, we're going to be looking at linear equations with two unknowns involving substitution. By Matt Yanata, aka the resistor of bad and the love of good. Hashtag dark and lovely underscore walk by faith and not by sight. So example number one. What do you do when you're told to solve these two equations simultaneously? Now first of all, this is actually very easy. Okay? So let's just quickly label them as equation number one and equation number two. Now the reason I say this is very easy is because when you look at equation number two, it's already telling you that y is equal to 5 plus x. Okay? So you can actually just use this 5 plus x and substitute it as the y value in our first equation. Look at this y value. Hmm? Well, let me rather explain it this way. Look. In equation number 1, we have x plus y. Okay? Now this y, because we are told in equation number 2 that y equals to 5 plus x. Wherever we see a y in equation number 1, we can actually just substitute the 5 plus x. Okay? So let's do just that. Now, after we do that, always remember, guys, when you substitute your 5 plus x into the other equation, always put them into brackets, okay? I'll explain to you later why brackets are very important. So now, after you put them in brackets, if there is no number in front of the bracket, and there is just a sign, like in this example, we just have x plus, open bracket, 5, plus x, close bracket. So this means there is an invisible one, okay? Now, depending on the sign, this invisible one can be positive or negative. Now, in this case, this invisible one is positive. So what do we do? We multiply that positive 1 by 5, and we multiply that positive 1 by x. So what do we get? We get this as an answer. Okay, because this x is this x. Now, 1 times 5 is equal to 5. Now, now 1 times x is also equal to a positive x. Okay, now the 15 stays the same. So now from here, what do we do? Notice that we have like terms. This x and this x are like terms. Okay, so now what is the sign in front of this x? Is a positive sign. So what do we do? We add these two. What is 1x plus 1x? It's 2x. Now the positive 5 comes down the same way it is. Okay? And then it's equal to 15. Now from here, you can basically just like uh, solve to get this variable of x. Okay? You can choose which method to use. Like if you are going to choose to take uh, this 5 to the other side, whereby it becomes negative 5. Or you can choose to use the method that I'll be using now, okay? So, the method I'll be using is, I want to get 2x to be alone on one side. So this positive, with what can I cancel it out? This positive 5. I can cancel it out with minusing 5, okay? Positive 5 minus 5 equals to 0, so... Whatever you do on this side, you need to do on the other side. So we minus a 5 on the other side as well. Okay? So what's 5 minus 5? It cancels out. And this 2x is what is left. What is 15 minus 5? It's equal to 10. Okay? Now remember, when it's 2x and there's no sign in between, it simply means it's multiplication. Now how do we cancel out multiplication? We cancel it out by using division okay so now by which number do we divide we divide by this two because we want to find x so we divide this side by two now whatever we do this side we need to do on the other side we divide this side by two as well okay so that's two divided by two to cancel out and an x is left what's 10 divided by two it's five and just like that you have found the answer for x. So x equals to 5. Okay? 
So let me just use this space to find y. So now that you know the x value, you can actually use any of these two equations, okay? You can choose to substitute it into the first equation or into the second equation. But let's use the second equation for this one. So it says, the second equation says y equals to 5 plus x. But now you already know that x is equal to what? It's equal to 5. So we can just substitute this 5 into that x. So what do we get? We get y equals to 5 plus 5. So what is 5 plus 5? It's equal to 10. And just like that, you have found your answer for y. So for this two equations with two unknown variables, the answer is x equals to 5 and y equals to 10. So guys, it's simple as such. Okay? Let's look at example number 2. So what do you do when you have something like this? Now this one, unlike the first example, doesn't have uh, y equals to something or x equals to something. Okay? So for you to be able to solve it by substitution, notice one thing. You need to look for a variable with a coefficient of 1. Okay? What do I mean a variable? A variable is the letters. So for example, this y, this x, okay, is a variable. Now the coefficient is the number in front of that letter or the variable. So the number in front of the letter should be 1. Now in these two formulas, or sorry, two equations, which one is having a variable with a coefficient of 1? Is the first one, okay? Let's label them. This first equation has 2y and positive or plus 1x. So this is this value here. The coefic uh, coefficient is 1. So let's quickly use this first equation. So what do we do to this first equation? We change or rearrange this equation to make x the subject of the formula. Okay? So let's do just that. So if we want x to be alone this side, what do we do? We need to cancel out positive 2y. Now, how do we cancel out a positive number? By minusing. Okay? So positive 2y minus 2y. But remember, whatever you do on this side, you need to do on the other side. So we minus a 2y on this side as well. So what is 2 minus 2? To cancel out. And what is left? And x is left. Now on the other side, what's 11 minus 2y? It's equals to 11 minus 2y. Okay? Now that you know that il like x is equal to 11 minus 2y, you can substitute this as the x value in our second equation. This x here. Okay? So let's do just that. Look. So here I've rewritten our second equation. Okay? Which is this one. Now let's substitute this. Because remember this is saying x equals to 11 minus 2y. So now we substitute it into our second equation as the x value. Now remember what I told you. When you substitute it into the second equation, always put it into what? Brackets. Okay? So... What do we do from here? We multiply. Look, let's get rid of our brackets. Now, remember this is a negative. Don't, don't miss the sign here. We have a minus sign. So it means negative 3 multiplied by 11. And then negative 3 again multiplied by 2y. Okay? So what answer do we get? We get the 2y, which is still there. And then negative 3. Multiplied by 11, you get negative 33. And negative 3 multiplied by negative 2y, you get positive 6y. And then equals to negative 1, which was already there. Okay? Now from here, notice that we have two like terms. 2y and 6y are like terms. Now what's the sign in front of the 6y? It's a positive. So we need to what? To add. What is 2y? 
plus 6y it will give us 8y okay so the negative 33 comes down just the same way as it is what about on the other side the negative one also just comes down okay so from here again you can choose which method to use if you are the type to take it over the border you take the 33 on the other side and it becomes negative 1 plus 33 do the method you are very familiar with okay because as for me knowing that i want this 8y to be alone on this side i'll plus 33 here to cancel it out and just because i plus this side i also plus it on the other side and then what's negative 33 plus 33 to cancel out what's negative 1 plus 33 to give me a 32 okay so the 8y just comes down okay now remember 8y is multiplication so how do we cancel multiplication again by division okay because this 8 is multiplied by this y we need to divide it to be able to cancel out this 8 because we want the y alone so we divide 8 by 8 now remember whatever you do on this side you do on the other side as well so you also divide 32 by 8 so now what's 8 divided by 8 it cancels out and we are left with the y what's 32 divided by 8 it's equal to 4 and just like that we have our y value which is 4 okay so now that we know our y value we can use any of the two equations to find the value for x okay so let's use the first equation now the first equation states that 2y equals to x equal sorry 2y plus x is equal to 11 right now knowing that our y value is 4 wherever we see the y we can just substitute a 4 okay so there was a y here we substitute a 4 but always remember when you substitute it you put it into brackets okay so now what do we do we multiply or we cancel out this bracket there we go now what's 2 times 4 it gives you 8 okay so the x come down the way it is the 11 also come down the way it is now knowing that i want this x alone on this side and this is a positive 8 i simply minus the 8 on this side and remember whatever i do on this side i have to do on the other side I also minus the 8 this side and what's left this 2 will cancel out and then i'm left with a x and then what's 11 minus 8 is equal to 3 okay and just like that you have found your x value so y is equal to 4 and x equals to 3 for these two equations okay so thank you very much for watching this video please do like subscribe turn on that notification button to be the first to see the next upload share with friends family and classmates and remember, together we rise to higher heights, apart we all stay behind. Cheers.